All right, we're uh, we're doing the Joe pipe today, and hopefully, let's see, I'm just gonna turn it up a little bit, and I want to spill the beans today. I want to uh, spill the beans today on the Joe pipe technology. It's something that God has given me by revelation of the Holy Spirit, and uh, <clears throat> at a point though come to be known as the greatest source of unlimited heat in the world. That's what the Lord gave me. So I'm spilling the beans. As the Lord spills the beans to me, I'm, I'm giving it to you. So, uh, I'm offering this uh, remnant group that I'm on. These uh, have to do with the Goshen camps. I'd like to make a proposal to you, right? God's given me the uh, the tech and the know-how to build anything that he puts in my heart to make for his people. So one of the things I don't want to, want to make are the Joel pipe technology. I'm going to upgrade the Joel pipe, right? I'm going to upgrade it to where I'm getting uh, in the third state. I'm out of phase. I'm out of the third state somewhere <clears throat> going into the fourth state. Of the uh, of matter as far as matter into conversion or waste into fuel and so I need to work on the, on the implosion to try to enhance the the, the flashback potential and that's gonna uh, give me the phase change because when it flashes back inside of a pipe it actually creates a vacuum right so you want to create an implosion spin and at the same time, you want to create an explosion uh, spin so that you have uh, equal and opposite reactions. In society, we have this, right? Most of science is based on explosion science. As far as implosion science, this is relatively new. And so if you can take the two and join them together, in a perfect balance, you're actually pulling energy out of the higher uh, uh, subatomic state uh, because you're taking matter in the third state, convert it in, into matter in the fourth state or an ionized state where it's broken down in you know on, on an atomic level. So this is what I bring want to bring to you. So application. Application. So say one of you guys sends me a big pot like this, uh, a commercial canner, commercial canner, right? And we're just going to make the uh, lid like this. I might have to get some welding done on it. This is a, a commercial canner. So this would be where. This would be all filled up with plastics, and so what I want to do is bring a, about a three inch pipe down, about there, okay, and then I want to bring the Joe pipe in to about here, about two thirds down. So you want this part flanged off. Got the drill pipe coming in here. You got your air and your propane. Any kind of gas will work. Uh, you could actually try uh, taking a, a propane feed, putting it in the center of the tube. To where it comes out here and about here, right? Same thing that I'm doing now. And uh, then we want to get this fire to spin to go into a vortex. Then we can actually simply have a pot, this would just be the innovation crucible. So all the garbage that's in here it's going to begin to heat from the inside out so you're going to get a eventually you're going to get a pool 
Hang on for a sec. Oh, I might not have enough power. My battery tap fell. So you're going to get a pool of plastic down here. So you're going to try to create your uh, third state into the fourth state burn here. And <clears throat> so you're, you know, you're creating a little bit of I-9 state. And I don't want to bring it to the full potential yet. Then create your, your uh, tornado. So you got a tornado that's starting off here and it's, it's going down. I've seen it. It's, it's pretty fantastic to see fire spinning in a funnel. So you got a funnel here and this is creating oh this is going to heat up 1200 1500 degrees in here just just the metal the metal will almost turn to the red point and uh, then your your gases would come up and say come out of there come out of there you might have two gasifiers coming out so this is going to be a very high production unit so I'm hoping to use the Joe pipe technology to make the most efficient gasifier system in the world so this here uh, because it is a pressure cooker right I'll be able to uh, actually control the amount of gas coming up so I can actually have this under a little bit of pressure maybe five maybe ten pounds I, I don't know what uh, the Joe pipe will handle, handle here because you're creating a back pressure to go in. But I think between 5 and, and 10 pounds of uh, pressure, so that's going to raise your, uh, actually bring it into like a, a pyrolysis phase, right? Uh, by heating this under pressure, you should be able to get a gasification uh, pyrolysis system. Oh. And it's just by increasing the, the the heated pressure inside. So you want this to be insulated like this. We're just taking a commercial canner and retrofitting it. So this is all two inches of uh, uh, ceramic wool insulation in there. And for your gasifier, uh, probably. No, let's, let's get rid of this. So I'm making this proposal to you out there. So maybe in, during this next lockdown, I could do this here. And, and uh, get the information out to you. So all your Patriot groups can build this to where you could turn plastic into fuel. Okay? I'm giving you... A very simple means, a very highly productive way to turn waste into fuel. Uh, you know, the drill pipe technology, uh, Don Stein already tested it. He's the guy that ran with the technology that the Lord gave me and put a patent on it. He's got four or five world uh, energy patents now. But praise God, right? And uh, I know that the Lord's moved me into the phase that he said that he would do. And uh, now is the time to develop uh, this drill pipe technology to where it's going to generate an unlimited heat source heat that's above the third state of matter okay so I'm spilling the beans it's uh, beautiful when you have the Holy Spirit working inside you and it's like it's just like an inner knowing of uh, what to do even though you have you've never done it before God can put the unction in you. Isn't that so wonderful? Isn't, it, isn't that a, a blessed gift that, that he's gave me that I might share it with his body? You know, use it to build a system like this. So, this is your pot down here. Right? This is your pot. Then it goes longer. This is your lid. You've got two pipes coming up. Like this. So what we want to do is 
Take the pipe and uh, make it like that, right? You got two two coils. That's not the right way to make coils. Okay, you take that, you make it so you got coils coming up, just like a coil spring. Just like a coil spring. So that allows for the vapor to, to flow up. Uh, you don't want too many coils on there because you don't want it starting, starting to condense in here. Maybe, let's see. Maybe you could have a few coils on there just, just to test it out. And it comes up, comes up, comes up, comes up, and I'd say we'll just put it into a common plenum. Like this. So, you could actually have a third tap in this. Well, we, we try, I think two would be uh, sufficient. Hmm. Usually the gas will come up and it comes up and then you're going to have to have it. Uh, yeah, we can make, we're just going to run this straight. So this is just a, a collector, a collector manifold on top. And then you can have your, your coils here. This would be one main coil. You can make it very big. gas is going through that. So this would be your collector in the bottom. So we come into there. And this would be your insulation. Or you want that to be a water bath in here. The vapor comes in and it cools, and any excess comes up and goes into another bottle with, with water in it. <clears throat> so you're taking off uh, some lighter oils. Maybe uh, you might make an oil here, gasoline there, and you're going to get vapors out of here. That can be ran back into the Joe pipe system. I'm just checking my time. So, that's what I'm proposing. And like Don Stein was saying, having patented his technology that he borrowed from the Lord, that propane and air, he gets about a 300% increase as far as using the propane air fuel to heat water. So it's already a 300% increase, right? Just using the standard operation of the Joe pipe to make a gas fire, 300% increase right there. Well, let's see if we can knock it down to 200%, just to be sure. You know, twice ener as energy efficient as anything out there. So by bumping it up, into maybe the three and a half state uh, and this is something that I like to be uh, like to monitor so we're going to have I can actually show you what I'm going to do with, with the pipe configuration so we've got propane coming in there right propane's coming in there and here you got air or a gas vapor or maybe both coming into here right you got the propane coming into here and if it's gas vapor or air you're putting in probably more air than fuel fuel so you're getting air added into here so the first test it's going to see whether you would have your, your
your main air supply will come in like this. You're going to get a conical flow of air coming through. And this would be encased maybe uh, two inch copper or something like that. And when the fire comes back in, it, it starts to spin. But it, you're going to get partial combustion in, in here, I'm hoping. You're going to create that, that uh, the other side of the uh, vortex to create your enclosure so you want to get that started. And the way the drill pipe works, it works on slight negative pressure and I should get another reaction like that of the, of the flames spinning. So uh, from observations already that I've seen, it's the incomplete combustion that would actually go back into here, right? And this would separate the blue. So I'm actually able to separate the carbon monoxide from uh, from the hydrogen that's in propane. So this, this is a fairly novel dis discovery. I hope you guys are not getting bored. So anyway, I like to be able to bump the from 200 percent say to around 300 plus percent. So you got a gasification system that's operating on one third of conventional fuel. And you'll also have a delivery system where you got your pipe, you got your drill pipe inside and your heat is spinning down creating a, a whirlpool of energy. And so that's going to enhance the uh, process. Like a fire tornado going in for your gasification process. And uh, now from that, I'll be able to tell in this, I don't know how big the, the canners go, commercial canners, maybe 20 liter. Uh, something about 16 inches and about this tall. So it'll be you know, a fair, fair sized canner and, and turn that into a gasifier. So if you put in uh, 10 pounds of plastic, you're also going to have to add some steam. You might get, I don't know, maybe two or three gallons of fuel that you'll be able to create with that. Depends on the content, right? But you'll be able to take uh, that 10 pounds of plastic and generate fuel out of it. And so what you would do, you would take the vapor coming off your last stage that's not, you know, it's not going to condense out into oil. And you use that, you add, use that to add it to, add it to the fire, right? So you add that, uh, all the stuff that, that you would normally burn off, you would add it to the fire and that should enhance the uh, gasification and give you greater fuel saving. So maybe by that, just maybe, you might be able to bring it up to about 400% to 500% efficiency. Okay, I'm, I'm done this lesson. I've been doing this for a lot of years. It's going to end up being 21 minutes. So I'm making this proposal to uh, the 